Right now, live at 5, it's day 4 of the impeachment trial of former President Trump. And today, his attorneys are presenting their defense. Plus, good news for those in Itasca County as more vaccines become available. How an educator COVID-19 testing program is helping educators here in Minnesota. And as we head into Valentine's Day weekend, things will certainly look different for some. We'll introduce you to a couple who is taking the holiday virtual in some pretty creative ways. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look inside the U.S. Senate tonight as the impeachment trial against former President Donald Trump continues today. Lawyers for Trump mounted their defense in just two and a half hours of the 16 hours allotted by the rules. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. Uh, former President Trump's team continues to deny he played any role in the deadly Capitol riot and set to prove he always stood for law and order. Natalie Brand has the latest from Capitol Hill. Lawyers for former President Trump came out swinging Friday, pushing back against two days of arguments from House impeachment managers, accusing him of inciting the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Nothing in the text could ever be construed as encouraging, condoning, or enticing unlawful activity of any kind. Mr. Trump's team sought to distance the former president from violent rioters. And the defense played video montages of Democratic lawmakers in an effort to argue they've also used heated political rhetoric. We stand up and we fight back. Mr. Trump's lawyers contend he was the victim of an impeachment witch hunt since he became president. Impeach 45! It is constitutional cancel culture. History will, will, will record this shameful effort as a deliberate attempt by the Democrat Party to smear, censor, and cancel not just President Trump, but the 75 million Americans who voted for him. A number of Republican lawmakers have said a conviction is highly unlikely, something that would take 17 GOP senators joining with Democrats. But some Republicans say they are looking to the former president's lawyers to answer specific questions regarding the timeline during the riot. So the president knew that people had invaded. They were approaching the Senate chamber and the Secret Service felt like the vice president was in danger. About 30 minutes later, he tweeted out another tweet negatively towards the vice president. A final vote could take place as early as this weekend. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now that the president's lawyers have finished their arguments, senators will have four hours to ask questions on each side before the final vote. The CDC has unveiled long-awaited guidelines for reopening K-12 schools. The color-coded system is based on the rate of coronavirus transmission in each community. Blue zones have low transmission and are open for full in-person learning. Yellow is moderate transmission, but those schools can also stay open. Orange means substantial transmission, and schools should switch to hybrid learning and reduce attendance. And red means middle and high schools should switch to virtual learning if there's no regular testing. If testing is done, all schools should use a hybrid model. These guidelines do not mandate schools reopening, but are a roadmap to do so safely. The CDC added vaccinating teachers is another layer, but not necessary to reopen. Minnesota's governor says the state's COVID-19 testing program for teachers is working. A month in, he says it's helped keep transmission rates among teachers below 1%. CBS 3's Emma Quinn explains how the program works and how it's benefiting a Northland school district. Just over a month ago, 96% of Minnesota school districts, including here in Harmontown, signed up for the nation's first ever teacher COVID testing program. Governor Walls required all schools that were having some form of in-person learning to offer on-site testing for staff every two weeks. The Hermantown School District holds its testing events every other Wednesday. During a press conference in the Twin Cities area Friday morning, Walls said the program has helped with contact tracing and keeping positivity rates low within schools. That's allowed us in our schools to keep our test positivity rates to 0.36 percent. 
Um, even though 86% of our K-8 students right now are doing some form of in-person learning. Educators and staff are not required to take the COVID tests, and the tests are at no cost to staff or the schools. Hermantown School District officials say the testing has helped them identify educators who are asymptomatic, and they say teachers are taking advantage of the opportunities. Thanks, Emma. Tonight at 6, we'll hear how Hermantown schools are hoping the state will follow suit with a vaccine program for teachers in order to get students back in school full time. Well, as COVID cases and hospitalizations continue dropping, Minnesota is easing more of its restrictions. Starting tomorrow, restaurants can stay open an hour later until 11 p.m. The governor is also increasing capacity limits at restaurants, entertainment venues, gyms, pools, and private events. They're only slight changes, but Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan says it's part of the Careful Balancing Act, limiting spread while encouraging economic recovery. We have a full list of the changes on our website. Coming up next week, certain patients at Grand Itasca Hospital will have another chance to sign up for a vaccination appointment. According to leaders there, this week's appointments are already full, but you can try again at 9 a.m. on Monday. At this time, limited vaccines are available for patients 75 and older. The best way to sign up is only via MyChart or by calling 218-326-7344. You can find more information at GrandItasca.org. And just a reminder, we've set up a local vaccine information center on our website to make sure you can stay up to date on the very latest information as it becomes available. You can find that information on CBS3Duluth.com. A fire destroyed a house in Duluth's Piedmont neighborhood this morning. Flames were seen shooting out of the home on Hoover Street just after 4 a.m. Duluth fire officials say the blaze started in the basement. The only person inside made it out safely. Firefighters were on scene for several hours as temperatures reached 19 de degrees below zero. You're worrying about temperatures at that cold. Your lines in the hose can freeze up, so that could create a problem. So we try to make sure that we at least have the water trickling if we're not fully flowing. But with this fire, it was continuous water application. No word on what caused the fire, but the fire department says it's not considered suspicious. Dave's here for a first look at the weather. Dave, we've been talking about this all week, but first responders, mailmen, yeah. delivery people, I mean, they're mm -hmm. dealing with these brutally cold temperatures all week long. Is it continuing? It's continuing, and it's going to get worse, I think. And, you know, in the grocery store this morning, one of the stocking people said, give a shout-out, too, to the uh, furnace technicians who've been working around the clock to keep people's furnaces going and get them running again when they stall out. So to Assistant Chief Clint Reff, who's an old friend of mine, and his brother went to VCC with me back in the day. Thank you guys for doing what you do. And you furnace techs as well. And boy, we're going to need our furnaces tonight. Wind chill warning now for Minnesota. Feels like temperatures could go towards 50 below. Actual air temps will run 25 below in Duluth to 35 below in International Falls. Northern Wisconsin's getting pretty chilly as well with actual air temps towards 25 below there. Feels like numbers around 40 below. But no wind chill advisory for our friends in the UP. That's just going to be close to 20 below there. Eyeing up the Arctic high pressure, retaking our area with a reinforcing shot. Yeah, chasing away the clouds that came in last night and did bring a dusting of snow to many towns. My uh, old beat-up Ford had a little coat of white on it. I almost thought it got repainted at night. It was so uniformly applied, but no, it was just the cold. Quick look at our forecast for tonight and tomorrow says the cold hard truth. 20 to 25 below tomorrow morning and then a high of about six below tomorrow afternoon. It will be brisk, and we'll talk about when we'll finally break the cold snap in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, a local business wins a big makeover in Wisconsin and a racing event on Lake Superior this weekend. More coming up in City by City. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki, Anthony Matt. And weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS3. Get local vaccine information all at CBS3Duluth.com. Did you know that 178 million Americans are missing at least one tooth? It's, it's true. true. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we only focus on tooth replacement solutions. Whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dead lands, we have an experienced dentist who can create a new smile just for you. 
at a price that's affordable. Because at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we want you to go, go ahead, ahead and, and smile. smile. Martin, I'm at work. Oh, perfect. I have a question. Is it true that single care can beat the price of your prescription right at the register? Yes, Martin. My friend Al is not so convinced. Just have him check the single care price. It only takes 10 seconds on the app. Good point. Stand by. <laughs> Sorry about that. Looks well, like it's cheaper with single care. Well, that's a great price. Yes, Martin? Al saved on his copay in 10 seconds. That is so great. I gotta go. I think she hung up on me. Check the single care price today. Keeping yourself and your family safe from germs and bacteria is made easy with Cetus Ultraviolet Technology for Sterilization. Through time-tested ultraviolet irradiation, killing 99% of dangerous microbes is simple and effortless. UV light technology is faster and more reliable than water-based disinfectants. Now easier than ever to live germ-free. Visit www.cetusonline.com. That is C-E-T-U-S online.com. Last year, when people were going hungry, Subaru and our retailers donated 50 million meals to Feeding America. And yet, one in four children may still face hunger. So as part of our love promise, Subaru and our retailers are doing it again, donating an additional 100 million meals to help those in need. Love, it's never been needed more than right now. Subaru, more than a car company. It is the question that matters the most. Without it, our purpose Robert. and our freedom fade. This is why. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Spirit Mountain on this Friday. Dave will be in with this weekend's forecast in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a look around the region. A racing event on Lake Superior this weekend and a virtual concert for your Valentine's Day. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. To start things off tonight, we head to Ashland with an update on the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's annual Main Street Makeover Contest. Moore's on Main in Ashland was chosen as the winner of this year's contest. The family-owned business will receive $10,000 towards indoor and outdoor renovations, as well as personalized technology assistance. Moore's on Main says they are very excited to have won and for the chance to update their store. They added they are so grateful and look forward to the experience. Next, we head west to Alouise Bay in Superior, Wisconsin, where the Lake Superior Ice Racing Association will be hosting their Soup Town Showdown tomorrow. The race is sponsored by Gronk's Bar and Grill and set to start at noon. For those hoping to watch, there will be free spectator parking on the front stretch. For how to enter and other rules, find the Lake Superior Ice Racing Association on Facebook. And finally tonight, the Duluth Playhouse is hosting a virtual Valentine's event this weekend. Starting tonight at 7, they will be streaming from Broadway with Love, a concert celebrating love in its many moods and forms. The event features an array of community artists and will be streamed from the North Shore Theater stage. Viewing is free and will be available on Facebook and YouTube. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland, city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, Valentine's Day is this Sunday. How Americans are choosing to spend their money and how long-distance couples are making it work in a pandemic. Long-distance cold snap, that's what we've had. Bought a week's worth of this chill and it's going to stick around through the weekend. So today... We started at 19 below in the Twin Ports, could go to 25 below tomorrow morning, even colder inland. We'll talk about that chill and the kernel, the seed of a warm-up that may be planted Monday afternoon. Hopefully it grows next week, and I'll tell you about that progress in a few more minutes. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Attention oxygen therapy users. I was on oxygen tanks and I couldn't go anywhere and do much of anything. I didn't dare go far. It's time to reclaim your independence with an Energen One oxygen concentrator. I got my life back. I really love my Energen. Energen makes its own oxygen from the air around you, so you'll never worry about running out of oxygen again. 
Do I think Inogen is worth the money? It's worth every single penny of it. Call now for your free information kit. Managing type 2 diabetes? You're on it. Staying fit and snacking light? Yep, on it there too. You may think you're doing all you can to manage type 2 diabetes and heart disease. But could your medication do more to lower your heart risk? Jardians can reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults who also have known heart disease. So it could help save your life from a heart attack or stroke. And it lowers A1C. Jardians can cause serious side effects including dehydration, genital yeast or urinary tract infections, and sudden kidney problems. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. A rare but life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this bacterial infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis or have severe kidney problems. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Lower A1C and lower risk of a fatal heart attack? On it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. How an educator COVID-19 testing program is helping educators here in Minnesota. Some old drill coming our way tonight, wind chill advisory, low temps well below zero, but I'll talk about when things will finally start to warm up. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Get local vaccine information all at CBS3Duluth.com. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, you probably don't need me to tell you it was another cold one because it was. How cold? Let's take a look at the numbers here. Getting into Minnesota, that's where the heart of the cold was. It was a little bit mellower in Wisconsin and into Michigan where the clouds were just a little bit thicker and that light snow came across roughly from the Twin Ports and into the Upper Peninsula. So we had a low of five below in waters meet what were they 30 below yesterday that's a great improvement 10 below ashland's not so bad even 19 below up over the hill in the twin ports uh, you know it could be colder and it was colder in hibbing 31 below at the airport 38 degrees below zero international falls this morning well it's going to go towards 35 below there tomorrow morning 25 below in the twin ports and waters meet may not be so lucky this time around looking at 20 below coming around but also, a warm spell hopefully starts Monday afternoon. It'll be a tiny little mustard seed at first, but it should grow as next week progresses. We'll talk about that with the seven-day forecast after a look at the current conditions coming in from Duluth International. It's nine below. Northwest winds going six miles per hour. Could gust as usual to 15. So we have a wind chill warning for Minnesota tonight. Could feel as bad as 50 below. And for Wisconsin, could feel like 40 below. Wind chill advisory there. Michigan, you're off the hook tonight, at least for the wind chill advisory. But it still will be actually cold with the real temperatures getting below zero. Well, Waters meet right now is at one above, but it just could slip down to five below. And follow suit with Ironwood in just a matter of minutes or hours. Maybe push it a little bit towards hours. Anyway, it's six below in Ashland and Solon Springs and Superior. 11 below Cloquet, 8 below Moose Lake and for Silver Bay. 10 degrees below zero in Eveleth and Hibbing, 13 below International Falls. And the Ely reporting station down Highway 1 at the airport still having a little bit of trouble. Hopefully that gets fixed soon because we love getting data from that town. Factor in the winds, feels like 13 below International Falls and or 23 below for Hibbing and Chisholm. Even 20 below in Superior and 18 below towards Ironwood. So yeah, batting down the hatches, it's going to be another cold one as a reinforcing shot of the Arctic high pressure slides across the border into our region. Another lobe of the polar vortex coming to call and perhaps even colder for a lot of towns tomorrow morning, Sunday morning and Monday morning than even the past week has been. But like I've been mentioning here, by Monday, the dome of the cold should start to withdraw back to the north, both the original shot and this reinforcing shot coming in tonight, leaving the surrounding air mass to be cool but not so bitterly cold. And so temperatures will start to go up, and we'll show you how far now with the seven-day forecast. Tonight in Minnesota, this could be one of the coldest of the bunch. 20 below even by the lake, 35 below inland. 
partly cloudy sky up on top. Wisconsin, Michigan numbers, they're going to hit 20 to 25 below with a clear to partly cloudy sky. And then for tomorrow with sunshine in Wisconsin and Michigan, your high temps may run a narrow range of 3 to 5 below, which folks in Minnesota may sneeze and scoff at. Ah, 10 below International Falls, maybe 2 below right by the lake. Sunny and cold for Saturday and sunny and cold for Sunday, 25 below there again, 8 below for the daytime high. Sunday might be even colder than Saturday, but then we mellow out a bit on Monday. Sure, we start at 25 below again, but then we go to 5 above. And as we hinted at last night, then we'll just keep pushing temps up as the week goes on from 5 to 10 to 12 to 15 and maybe even 20 whole degrees above zero by this time next Friday. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Dave. Well, some surprising data surrounding Valentine's Day this year. Online coupon, coupon site Retail Me Not conducted a survey and found fewer people are planning to buy Valentine's Day gifts this year. But those who are plan to spend more than double what they dropped last year. Experiences and fine dining aren't popular choices due to the pandemic, with loved ones focusing on pretty traditional gifts like chocolate, flowers, and jewelry. Well, as we near Valentine's Day, couples are trying to figure out how to celebrate during a pandemic. It's a challenge for everyone, but even more so for couples in long-distance relationships. Michael George introduces us to one couple who is defying the odds. You look pretty today. <laughs> Deb Lomax and Jason Ward are meeting for the first time in their new virtual reality world. Are you ready for date night? Yeah, let's do it. They've actually been dating a year and a half, which means most of it has been during the pandemic. And since she lives in London and he lives in Chicago, they've had to get really creative to keep their weekly date night special. The virtual reality headsets were a gift from Ward for Valentine's Day. We've been in the virtual world, which has been absolutely amazing. I, I could have never imagined it would be so so much fun. Over the past year, they've tried out recipes together and sent each other a lot of homemade gifts. I vowed to Deborah that I would not let a pandemic uh, push my love away from her. Ward traveled to London at Christmas, but says the pandemic made it super stressful and expensive when he had to change his flight for an extra COVID test. I feel like it's really held us back in a lot of ways. We would have done so much more. I feel like we have been cheated. But therapist Alicia Munoz says Ward and Lomax are not necessarily worse off. They might really still be in that sort of biochemical high of in love which really acts as a, as a huge buffer to conflicts. In long distance relationships, that buffer can stay there longer. Ward and Lomax video chat every day, but due to current travel restrictions, they have no idea when they'll see each other in person again. I'm gonna be here, she's gonna be there, and we're gonna do whatever we need to do to make it work. They say they'll keep finding ways to feel close, even though they're 4,000 miles apart. Valentine's Day celebrations even made an appearance at the White House this morning where First Lady Jill Biden had a surprise message for the country. Overnight, a display of hearts was placed on the North Lawn of the White House. Each heart had one word, much like the traditional candy hearts, but with a special message for these challenging times. Kindness, unity, compassion, and healing. One of the signs was even signed by Dr. Biden. Still to come, just how much is Wisconsin's prison staff shortage costing taxpayers and how the Department of Corrections is trying to fix it. The most important thing in the Chevy Equinox is not forward collision alert or automatic emergency braking. No, the most important thing in the Equinox isn't any of the advanced safety features we've put into it. It's what you put into it. Chevy Safety Assist, standard on every 2021 Chevy Equinox. Get a $4,000 cash allowance on most 2021 Equinox models. Plus, current Chevy owners with an eligible GM credit card get an additional $1,750 total allowance. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The world changed in an instant, but at Mediacom, we were ready. And as internet traffic increased, we never slowed down. Schools and businesses went virtual, and we powered a new reality. For more than 20 years, we've been building a future-ready network to keep you ahead of it all. And now, Mediacom will be among the first to take you to 10G. We're making the next giant leap forward in internet technology and taking you further than you can imagine. Hi, John with Prime Appliance, and this is one of the best times of the year to buy appliances 
because manufacturers are sending us their new models weekly, and we need the room, so we're closing out last year's models at rock bottom prices. Save now on this Frigidaire laundry pair with an electric dryer, just $12.98, or this oversized capacity Samsung set in black stainless, now only $16.49. Financing always available. Have our pros deliver and install or take it home today. Prime Appliance, the best place to buy your appliances. Access North, over 35 years of service. You know, there's a lot going on, so you need someone who you can really trust. Um, and someone who, like, harmonizes with your family values. Access North has been great in giving us guidance on how we can give him the best quality of life. I think the staff, and not only the back office side, but in the daily life side, has been great. Call Access North about PCA and other in-home services today. We're spreading the love and saying thank you for turning to us when news and weather matter most to you. Warm wishes this Valentine's Day from all of us at Live Local CBS 3. Over 20 million viewers watch the premiere of The Equalizer. I've been where you are. No one to turn to. Turn to me. I got, I got, I got, I got. What did they used to call you? Watch The Equalizer, new Sunday, 8, 7 central. Or stream anytime on CBS. Everything that happens on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of news, no matter what happens in news, weather is always constant, weather is always changing as well, so it's still an important role as the meteorologist to kind of still stay grounded and to kind of just know that role and what to take and kind of just make sure you're delivering what's the most important for your viewers, but then also I like to touch base on the national things. All of those news stories also tie in with weather stories because they do go kind of hand in hand. Watch Jenna and Caitlin in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. Local news and local weather here on CBS 3. A plea deal has been blocked in the high-profile case of a former Minneapolis police officer. Officials say Officer Derek Chauvin was prepared to plead guilty to third-degree murder in George Floyd's death. However, then-Attorney General William Barr personally blocked the plea deal last year. The deal would have averted any potential federal charges, including a civil rights offense. It was part of an effort to quickly resolve the case. Officials said Barr rejected the deal because he felt it was still early on in the investigation into Floyd's death. A staffing shortage at Wisconsin prisons is costing taxpayers millions. The shortage is pushing corrections officers to work long hours. In total, it has cost taxpayers at least $60 million in overtime pay. Data from the State Department of Corrections shows roughly 15 percent of corrections officers' positions are unfilled at Wisconsin's prisons. The DOC is requesting around $88 million in the next state budget due. They hope that will help with more expected increases in overtime costs and compensation. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, tonight the defense by former President Trump rests their case in under three hours as he could face a vote to convict as soon as tomorrow for inciting the Capitol insurrection. Plus, the CDC presses schools to reopen safely for in-person learning, urging with the right precautions in place, schools can get kids back in the classroom as soon as possible. And we go on the road with a Valentine story about the power of love that knows no borders. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. CBS 3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health St. Mary's Heart and Vascular Center. Don't avoid care during COVID-19. Ask your doctor how to stay heart healthy. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. With over 40 filtration systems, including the world's best softener, no one filters more than Culligan Water. The only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. It's time to welcome the new year with the bath of your dreams. With our Say Goodbye to 2020 sale, we're offering 20% off labor, 20% off material, and no interest, no payment, and zero down until 2022. All of our products are backed with the Good Housekeeping seal of approval and a lifetime warranty. For a free estimate, call us today or visit us online at bathplanet.com. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. Last year, when people were going hungry, Subaru and our retailers donated 50 million meals to Feeding America. 
And yet, one in four children may still face hunger. So as part of our love promise, Subaru and our retailers are doing it again, donating an additional 100 million meals to help those in need. Love, it's never been needed more than right now. Subaru, more than a car company. Ease joint pains with the Magnus Heated Massager from Cetus, leader in health and wellness technology. The Magnus reduces swelling, stiffness, and aching using magnetic and heat therapy. Use the Cetus Nova to relieve eye strain, dry eyes, and sinus pressure. Slip it on to massage your entire ocular region. It even features a Bluetooth speaker to help you relax. Let the Cetus Modus target neck muscles with vibration, electrical impulses, and heat. Visit www.cetusonline.com. That is C-E-T-U-S-Online.com. Join us weeknights for Live at 5 as we go around the Northland city by city. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Celebrating 30 years in business in 2021 with 30% off storewide. Downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Friday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and see what's coming up at 6. Tonight, we learned more about the ongoing impeachment of former President Donald Trump. His team continued to defend he did not play any role in the deadly Capitol riot and showed evidence trying to prove he always stood for law and order. Now that the president's lawyers have finished their arguments, senators will have four hours to ask questions of each side. And tonight at 6, a warning from Duluth Police Department after a rise in car thefts. What you can do to be sure it doesn't happen to you. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you right back here at 6.